In this video, we're going to look at how we can record anonymous feedback while also capturing variables in Dynamics 365 customer voice. So I've looked previous, previously at how you can import contacts and also import variables into customer voice, and that allows us to send out personalized surveys. So that's great. We can send out those surveys. Someone can click on a link and then they can see that the survey has been personalized with their specific information. But what we can also do is if you think about wanting to send out some kind of survey for your employees. So you might want to have the survey be anonymous. So having that feedback be anonymous, you're not capturing their name. But you might want to be able to do some kind of reporting based on knowing which department or country they're in. Maybe there's going to be some kind of difference with that or different managers want to look at the responses. So we want to make sure it's anonymous, but that the um, we know where they've come from. Also, we might have scenario where we've got some people that maybe they don't have a computer that they work from. So maybe they work in a warehouse or they work somewhere where they've got um, kiosks. So instead they can go to a shared computer and they can fill it out by just clicking on a direct link. So what do we do when someone comes from a direct link rather than a personalized link? So first of all, what we're going to look at to achieve this is we're going to add some questions and we're going to look at some questions that will be displayed if the respondent is accessing the survey from a direct link. So I've got two questions for that. I've got what department are you in and what country are you in? So what I've done is I've added those questions and this visible button here, just making sure that that is switched off so that that toggle is off and it will not show the um, question by default. So that's the first thing that we need to do is make sure those questions are hidden um, so we're not seeing them. Then if we go to the send tab and if we look at customization from here, we can look at distribution settings and we can look at the participants option. So what we can do is make sure that we deselect the save invited participants as contacts. So this one right here is on by default. So we do not want to save the people that we send the invites to as contacts. We don't want to be um, storing that information in our environment. We want to keep everything as anonymous. And what we're also going to do is the select anonymous responses right here. We want to make sure that that is on. Now, what we'll see here is that we've got this variable settings are enabled on personalization panel. So when we set to say that we want to capture anonymous responses, we then get this new option within the variables area. So if I go back and if I go into personalization now, now what we can see is I've got two different um, variables here. We've got department and we've got country that I've added. And what I've done is I've added in a default value of none. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that we save the value for both of these. And that will be saved when we actually create a personalized invitation. So I know John Smith, um, he's getting sent an invitation. We'll be able to pass through the department and the country, but we are not going to st store that it was John Smith that filled it out. So I'm setting those, I'm going to save the value. I do not want to save the first name or the last name, only those two variables. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now, because we want to make sure someone can respond to the survey that doesn't get an invitation, so they're filling this out from a shared computer, then what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, well, let's set up a branching rule. So if I go to customizations and go to branching, let's set up a branching rule that basically says, if the survey variable of department or country, uh, I'm using one because they'll both be both be none, so I don't have to set both variables. So if the sur survey variable of department is equal to none, then I want to show the question of what department are you in and what country are you in. If that's false, meaning there's something other than the word none in that um, variable, then I want to hide those same two questions. So that means it will only be people that access this survey from a direct link that will be asked what department and country are they in. So that's great. So we've got all that set up. And now we can actually go ahead and we could share and import the contacts in with the variables um, included. So let's have a look at that. 
So if I go to the send tab again and I'm going to resend, I'm going to do this via email. And what I can do is I can import the contacts and I'm going to upload. I've just got one in this file, just as an example. So I've got Jane Doe. Now in that file, I have that the, the um, country is United Kingdom and the department is accounting. So I'm going to go ahead and import that and we'll just go ahead and click send. Okay, so that has been sent. If I now actually go into the email account for that person. And here we go. So now I can go ahead and click and start the survey. And notice that those questions about the department and the country, they're not displayed. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. I'll just say everything's wonderful. And we'll go ahead and submit that. Okay, so that is somebody that was sent a personalized survey where the variables were stored within that invitation. If I was to go ahead and use the link, so let me go ahead and copy that and put the link in here. Notice now that it's saying, okay, well, what department are you in and what country are you in? So I'm going to say I'm in HR and I'm in the USA. Um, I'll go ahead and fill this one out. and submit that. Okay, so I've filled the survey out twice, once with a personalized link and once with the direct link. Now I've filled this out previously, so that's great. We'll actually be able to look at some information that's already in here. So I'm gonna to go to the report for this specific survey and we can see that we've got some responses in here. Now from here, I can click on where it says respondents and I, if I now look at one of these responses, we can see these two questions are empty which must mean that the person had a personalized link. So if I click on personalized data, we can see that we've got the Department of Finance and the country of United Kingdom was captured. If I look through at another one, we can see this one, those two questions are filled out. And what we can see here is this person's put HR and they've put USA. So I can see again where this person works, which country and also which department, even if somebody's clicking on a direct link or if somebody is clicking on a personalized link. Now, what we'll look at in another video is how we can then actually take these variables or sorry, these values that someone submitted and actually push them back through as a variable so that we can then use them in reports such as using Power BI, we'll be able to actually use that information. So hopefully you found this one useful. Again, this is going to be in the scenario where you want to capture the variables that are passed through into that survey invitation, but also access that same information from someone, even if they're doing it with a direct link and actually asking them those sorts of questions. So hopefully you find it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.